Hi everyone, it's uh, Reverend Keith from Park Royal United in Charlottetown. I want to share with you our children's time for uh, this Sunday, March 29th. And our story for this Sunday is about the prophet Ezekiel. Now, a prophet was someone who others looked to for guidance and wisdom. Ezekiel lived a long, long time ago. He lived with people who had been forced out of their homes and off their land because of war. They went through a lot of suffering and felt very sad. They never felt like singing. Ezekiel tried to help the people by encouraging them to remember that God was still with them. One day Ezekiel had a very special dream, or some people call it a vision. This is how Ezekiel tells his dream. Hi, my name is Ezekiel, and a long time ago I was taken prisoner and sent far away from my home, but I knew that God would take care of me. One day I had a very special dream. I was standing in a valley where the ground was covered with old bones. They were all around me, and they looked very, very dry. Everything felt sad and dead. And then God spoke to me. This is what I heard God saying. I am going to blow my breath into these bones and bring them back to life again. Suddenly I heard a noise and the bones began to join together. Then God called the winds to blow from all directions, north, south, east, west. The winds came and they blew and blew until all the bones became full bodies and all the bodies began, began to move, and the people came to life again. Then God spoke to me and said, Ezekiel, the people of Israel are just like these dry bones. They think they are dried up without any hope and without any future. But I am going to bring them back to their own land. I have not forgotten them. I love my people. Go and tell them that. So that's what I did. I hurried back to my people and told them what God had said to me in my dream. Their sadness started to go away. They began to feel hopeful again. They knew that God was still with us. So that's my story of Ezekiel. What part of the story did you like the best today? I wonder how Ezekiel felt when God asked him to talk to just bones. Have you ever been in a situation you thought would be impossible to solve? And then someone, somehow, it got solved? What was it like when the impossible situation was solved? We did a craft today that you can do at home. It's called a dancing skeleton. And here are the materials that we use to make the dancing skeleton. You need a dark piece of construction paper. And you need a template for the skull. And the Bible verse, God breathes life into dry bones from Ezekiel. And you need some Q-tips which mostly everyone has at home. You need a pair of scissors and some glue. And we'll send you out the template in an email so you can uh, cut out the, uh, the skull and the Bible verse. So let's close today with a prayer. Loving God, you understand the things that make us feel hopeless, the problems that overwhelm us. Help us find some hope to hold on to even when we face situations that seem hopeless. Help us to remember that no matter what, you never leave us to face our fears alone. We know you are with us even when we cannot see you. Thank you for always being with us. Amen. Blessings. And here's another shot of the dancing skeleton.